Is your crane a bit bonky? Maybe you just need to calibrate it. Today I'll show you how to do that using the Zhayun calibrating tool. This is crane V2, but the process should be the same with the older one and the new crane too. First thing to do is to open up the Zhayun Tech website. We need to download the calibrating software, so let's go to download section and scroll down to software download. I'm on Windows, so I will click on the link in that section. Here it is, calibration upgrade tool. Click on that and save. Okay, and here it is. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Gimbal needs to be in standby for the calibration. The way I did it is that I put the camera on top, put it into standby, and then I took the camera off. If you don't do it this way, you have to turn the gimbal on without the camera on top, even if only for a few seconds, but I still don't think that's good for the motors. Let's plug the crane in. Make sure you plug it into the USB port by the joystick. The software recognized the crane and this empty field changed into COM3. Click open next to it. There is a lot of things suddenly happening. There is some numbers for X, Y and Z axes under gyroscope and acceleration. And also the product changed into crane, which is correct. And a big blue calibration button. Click on it. What is this? Crane laying down in some funny position? Yes, and you need to copy exactly what you see on the screen. There is six different positions altogether. And make sure that you keep it steady for a few seconds when you get it into the position. Ideally, you wouldn't need to hold it, but it works fine. Don't need to prop it with anything like they do on the pictures, unless you really can't hold it steady enough. When the picture changes, it means you've done it correctly. If it doesn't want to change, just keep trying until you get it. Big tick mark at the end means the calibration is over. Just unplug the crane and turn it off completely before you try it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, maybe like it or even subscribe. Any questions, just ask in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.